Lineup looks uh, like this. Russian Emperor heads the field, of course, was brilliant winning the Gold Cup earlier in the season on a yielding track. Fifth to Romantic Glory, last time out in the QE2. And that's the main form race. Kying Star finished fourth. Turbian Diamond was second in the race. Panfield, last year's winner, uh, was uh, in third place. Columbus County ran sixth. Butterfield, where he was behind Senor Toba last time out, but gets a 13 pound turnaround at the weights for a two length beating. And then down to Nordic Sky, uh, who made all to win in Class 3 company, now takes it as an easy Class 3 winner as well. Now takes the big jump into Group 1 company uh, for Tony Millard. Of course, also trains uh, Panfield, the defending champion. So we'll have a look at the speed map uh, first, Tom. We're saying good as far as the pace is concerned in the early stages. Where are we looking for the key runners? Well, horses like Reliable Team, we know, likes to go forward. To, so he's, as his name suggests, he's a very reliable leader, uh, reliable team. In the race as well, Nordic Sky, he led up over 2,000 metres last time out. Kaying Star will probably have to uh, press on with it. Start 40, he's having his first run here in Hong Kong over 2,400 metres. I wouldn't be surprised, Paul, with that pace in the race that they might take Zabrowski back. Yeah, they, they, they do mix his profile. They went forward last time and he ended up uh, wide. Uh, 2,400 metres. Uh, look, they will want a bit of pace on. I think it will suit um, some of these back runners with this pace on. But reliable team, I think. You know, he, he's led over 2,400 metres every single start he's had here. All right. We've got Russian Emperor and Butterfield at the back and uh, Panfield biding his uh, time as well. We'll have a look at uh, the role of honour as far as the, uh, the big race is uh, concerned. Tom, you'll see the name... A.S. Cruz crops up quite often. Yes, well. Tony Cruz uh, has been prolific in winning this race uh, down through the uh, years. Of course, exultant Pakistan star and several very uh, good gallopers before that uh, were the game back to uh, 2017. But Panfield looking to uh, defend his crown from last year. Mm. Yeah, he's won seven of the last nine in actual fact, Cruz. He's got uh, Kying Star, of course, um, here. Look for us. We'll be on board uh, there. All right, where to start? Well, we'll have a look at uh, many of the key races uh, in a moment. We'll start off, though, with uh, Joe Moreira um, out at track work uh, this week, speaking about his mount, Senor Toba. Joe Moreira, Senor Toba is your ride in the final Group 1 of the season. Um, on the back of what he was able to do in the Queen Mother Memorial, he, uh, he certainly looks at a live chance. Oh, apparently. You're right. <laughs> he, he did win the Queen Memorial Cup very impressively. Um, he indicated to us that 2,400 meters is probably his best distance. The gear change that Casper put on, I mean, the blinkers that Casper put on on him got him to do things much more straightforward, which I was extremely happy with that. And um, I'm looking forward to riding him on the weekend. I guess visually the most impressive part of his race on the back of what was a relatively sedate tempo was that the final sort of furlong and even after the line. How impressed were you with, with what he was able to do in that race? Small field, slower pace. I mean, he did finish off very nicely, didn't he? Yeah, I, I was very impressed. He, and what impressed me the most is his finishing. Yeah. We raced 2,400 meters. I know we went a bit slow, but he, he had a, a much more acceleration than any other horse in the race at the finishing so that's what you would like from a horse stepping up in distance and and, and uh, on on rising as he, he seems to be how much how much of importance is placed on on barrier in a race like this joe you're in gate number two well honestly a 2400 meters is not that important but he always wants to be drawn on the inside so i'm very extremely happy to get the, the gate number two he should have every chance to place anywhere he wants to be from, from that gate and um, um, he, he should have every chance from there. I took the liberty of looking up your record in this race, Joe. Now, it's a, a bit of a glaring omission from your CV that you've never won this. Uh, Columbus County second last year, obviously Eagle Way a couple of times has run top four. Uh, Savvy Nimer's fourth a couple of years ago as well. I mean, this would be a nice one to tick off, wouldn't it? I mean, it's got a, a rich history, this race. Yeah, it's a, it's, as you said, it's the only race that I haven't won in Hong Kong. And it's uh, hopefully it's this time. I'm really, I'm really keen to get this tick on the box. There you go, and he's got a uh, big chance. I'd imagine we talk about Russian Emperor in the rain, but he wouldn't probably mind it either, um, Senor Toba, given the, uh, the the nature of that win in the Queen Mother. We'll have a look at um, the QE2, which is the the main form line I think coming into this. Certainly we've got the most runners um, coming out of it. Torbjorn Diamond, mm -hmm. he finishes in second behind Romantic Warrior. There's no Romantic Warrior to worry about uh, here though. Of the others. Panfield from the back runs third. Kaying Star close to the pace. He runs uh, in fourth place. Russian Emperor in fifth had a tough trip. We've got Columbus County down there on the inside, eventually sixth. Zabrowski, the stablemate in seventh, rode him forward this day. And reliable team who is up on the pace here, Tom, uh, weakens out to run eighth. 
Yeah, and I think it would be a shock if he was sort of to run top three here, uh, reliable team. Zabrowski might not be the worst. Now, what happened with Russian Emperor in this race was he was keen in the early stages and then he got sort of flushed out wide from about the 1,100 metres or so. So he had a little excuse and he'd missed some work going into this, uh, Paul. He's failed over 2,400 metres in the UK. He's failed over 2,400 metres here. So I'm going to take a little stand against him here. Yeah, look, I've included him, especially if there's rain on the day, um, because we know that he does go better with that uh, wet track. But... I did like the run of uh, Panfield here, uh, it, last year's winner, he, this is 2000 of course, up to 2400 metres, he was doing his best work really late and he managed to get his head in there for third as well. Yeah, and it's, there's very little between them yeah. right across there. Should have pointed out, Russian Emperor not wearing the blinkers, they come off, yeah. uh, the shadow roller goes on, so hopefully that will help him settle and get the trip as well. Um, here he is at the trials, still wearing the headgear, but he won't uh, pull on race day, Russian Emperor. Yeah, so we had this nice little trial leading into this as well. Uh, uh, the shadow roll will go back on him on, in, in this uh, contest as well. Look, he's, he, he's a horse that has, has looked really good this season. Look, he did win that race, obviously, on a really wet track. But don't forget, he did run uh, second in the derby uh, on a good track and, uh, and albeit should have just about won that. So he's not, not even in picture shot here at the moment, but he will appear. And just keep an eye on him after the line as uh, the camera zooms out to a grab him at the, the back there. The best bit of this trial uh, was uh, late, and he's, he's performed well in these trials, and then he has gone on performed on race day as well once he's had those trials down the straight. But he's given a, given a, a good hit out past the line here uh, next to uh, packing victory there in the, uh, the blue and the white colour but uh, stretching out nicely at the end there, Andrew. Yeah, it's only a you know sprint, chap, and he's a couple of that's lucky out in front, isn't it? It was a pretty handy sprint himself. So I think there's a little bit in that uh, trial. I'll stick with him. Um, here's Panfield, though, one of the main uh, dangers. This is him uh, trialling on the turf as well, Tom. Yeah, and he's uh, trialled up uh, well enough. He's uh, come into this race uh, with uh, that uh, handy run last uh, time out, not beaten too far, and he was uh, just off the pace here in the, the trial, but he's uh, run through the line pretty well, but he has been asked over the, the final stages. Last year in this race, Paul, he, he sat a lot closer. He was one back, one out. Do they, do they sit a bit closer with him this time round? I think just from the draw, they might just go back a little bit with him from barrier number seven, get that cover. I mean, it's not a big field, is it? So he's not going to be too far away, I wouldn't have thought. All right, still on the turf. This was a trial over the 1,600 metres, and we've got the stable mates here, Columbus County, um, who wins the trial, and uh, Zabrowski, who plots a course through to, uh, to run second to him, Paul. He certainly does, and now Columbus County in this race last year pulled a shoe at about the 300 metres, so that certainly wasn't ideal for him when he was narrowly beaten into a second placing. But here over the, the mile, they were both back in the field, uh, the two stable mates, Columbus County and Zabrowski, and uh, they've both gone to the line pretty well here over the, the final stages, uh, Paul. And they sort of, well, Columbus County has sort of peaked it around to this time of the year, and there was nothing wrong with uh, Zabrowski. Maybe ridden cold is better for him. Yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, maybe it. Uh you know, it didn't work last time and they go back. He, he has mixed his profile, that's for sure. The thing with uh, Columbus County is, I mean, this is his distance. He's one pace, isn't he? So yeah. 2,400 metres is the right distance for him. Yeah, both good chances. You'd imagine the stable favourite would be, or number one string would be Senor Toba, but we'll see how it plays out. He is favourite at this stage, Paul, Senor Toba. Yeah, he's in. I just think they're peaking Banfield at the right time for this race. He did win it nicely last year. He's a real star, so he's on top for me, Panfield. Uh, Russian Emperor, look, the, the two Group 1 winners I've got on top, so they are the class horses here. Senor Tova's a young horse coming through the grades, come through the four-year-old series. And look, Butterfield, I don't think he's out of it. Uh, set weights here. He'll get back and he'll hit the line strongly enough, but around the top three there, four, one, nine, and 6. Yeah, I'm going to stick with uh, Senor Toby here over the, the 2,400 metres. We know how good that four-year-old series form has uh, been, and uh, he comes out of uh, a couple of those uh, races. Good win winning the Queen Mother Memorial Cup. And actually on the rain-affected ground last time out, he actually showed a, a little bit of zip in the straight where quite often he's very one pace. So Senor Toba over Panfield. Uh, Columbus County went close in this race last year. I think he's uh, sort of found uh, the right race again. And Turby and Diamond, he wasn't too far away. We know he's got some 2,400 metre form through the AJC Derby. So 9, 4, 5 and 3. I think it's a very even contest, but I would be surprised if it wasn't Russian Emperor Panfield or Senor Toba um, who didn't win. Keep my fingers crossed in rain. I'll go for the Russian Emperor.